hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is monique if you are new here don't forget to click on the red button below to subscribe in this video i'll be showing you how i made this tiered ruffle wrap dress with bell sleeve so let's get started i'll be using this silk fabric for this tutorial it's a four yards of silk fabric So this is the pattern paper i've gone ahead to separate the front from the back so this is the center line this is the zipper line of the back this is the shoulder line so the first thing i'll be taking is five inches from the center front i'll take five inches like so this five inches is for the wrap that is the overlap on the dress so i'm going to fold this part i'm going to fold it this way that is the five inches then i'll start taking my measurements so the first me measurement i'll be taking is the shoulder width and the shoulder width is 15 15 divided by 2 will give us 7.5 i added half an inch for seam allowance then from this shoulder point i'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope then from the shoulder slope i'll take the chest line and i'll draw it like this then i'll go to the back i'll repeat the same thing i'll take the shoulder width measurement then i'll come down by one inch then i'll take the chest line here so I also draw the line out. After doing that, I'll place the shoulder measurement on the chest line, which is 8 inches, and I'll draw a straight line. I'll repeat the same thing on the back. I'll draw a straight line. So to get the armhole, I'm going to come up by 3 inches from the chest line. Here, I'll come up by 3 inches, like so. Then on the 3 inches, I'm going to come in by 0 0.75 here. Then I'll connect it this way with a slant line. Then I'll take the bus circumference. The bus circumference is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give us 9.5. I'll place it here and I'll add 2 inches for same allowance. So I'll go ahead and connect the armhole. So I've not taken the front neckline. I'll do that later on. Then on the back, to get the armhole, I'll get the midpoint of this line, which is 4 inches, and I'll come in by half an inch. Then I'll connect with a slant line like so. Then I'll take the bus circumference, which is 9.5, and I added 2 inches for same allowance. So I'll come to the front, I'll take the shoulder to bust point, which is 11 inches. I'll place it here. Shoulder to weight is 17. I'm adding half an inch, which is 17.5 inches for same allowance. Then I'll go ahead and connect the lines. Now I'll go ahead and take the bust pan measurement. And the bust pan is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 give us 4. I'm adding half an inch for same allowance. That's 4.5. I'm placing it on the bust point and on the waistline. I'll come down by one inch from the bust point and I'll take a straight line to the waist. Then I'll take half inch on both sides. Then I'll connect it like so. So after doing this, I'll come to the back. I'll take the shoulder to back half length, which is 16. I'm adding half an inch for same allowance. After doing this, I'll take the bust pan measurement. I'll come down by two inches from the chest line. So for the front, I added half an inch. For the back, I'll add one inch. That will give me five inches. So I'll place the five inches here. Then on the waist, I'll place the 5 inches also. Then I'll take a straight line, like so. Then I'll take half inch on both sides. After doing this, I'll take the um, neck width. The neck is 4 inches. The neck width is 4 inches. And I'll be using 2 inches for the neck depth. Then I'll connect it, like so. Now I'll connect the shoulder slope from the shoulder to the neck width. Then I'll be taking the waist circumference. The waist is 31. 31 divided by 4 will give us 7.5. So I'm going to place the 7.5 here. I'm going to replace this 1 inch for that. Then I'll add extra 2 inches for seam allowance. That's 3 inches. So I'll go ahead and connect it like so. Then the next thing I'll do to avoid zip bulge at the back, I'm going to come in by 0 0.75 here. Then I'll connect it to the end of the neck. Now up to the front, I'm going to take the neck depth. I'm using 7 inches for the neck depth and I'm using 4 inches for the width. Then I'll connect it with a slant line to meet the 7 inches. Then I'll go ahead and slant this shoulder for the shoulder slope. Then I'll take the waist circumference. The waist circumference is 7.5. I'll replace this one inch for that. Then I'm adding 2 inches for seam allowance. Then I'll go ahead and connect the line. Now, the next thing I'll do is to get the difference between the front and the back. The back is 16 inches, while the front is 17. And the difference is 1 inch. So I'm going to place the 1 inch on this bust line. Here. Then on the bust point here, I'm going to come out by 1 inch. 
so i'm going to take the side dart like so so by the time we close this dart it will tally with the back remember this part we folded in these five inches i folded earlier so what i'll do now is to connect it from these points from these seven inches here i'll connect it to the end of the five inches like so so this will be our overlap then the next thing i'll do is to cut it out so i'll be cutting two of the back and two of the front so the front will overlap each other then on the side that this side that i'm going to close it here I'm going to close it. I'll transfer it to the front dart. That is the waist dart. So I'll just hold it with the masking tape so that it will tally with the back. Then I'll keep it aside and cut out the skirt. So this is our skirt pattern. I've gone ahead to draw out the waistline. So I'm going to deduct 17 inches for the top. That is the top part we just drafted. Then I'll take the shoulder to hip. The shoulder to hip is 26 inches. So I'll go ahead and draw it out. Then the full length is 61 inches. So I'm deducting 13 inches from 61 inches because of the ruffles I'm going to attach on the full length. So I have 48 inches. That is shoulder to, to where I want the ruffles to start is 48 inches. So I'll go ahead and draw out the line. You understand later on then on the i forgot to take five inches for the overlap so i'll go ahead and draw out the five inches just like we did for the front that's the top part of the dress so this is the five inches i'll fold it like i did for the front then i'll start taking my horizontal measurement so i'll take the waist circumference which is the 7.5 i'm adding one inch for that and two inches for seam allowance then on the hip the hip is 41 for 21 divided by 4 will give us 10.25 so i'm adding 10.25 here and extra two inches for seam allowance so what i have on the full on the hip line i beg your pardon i'm going to place it on the full length so i have 12.5 inches then i'm going to add extra three inches it's like an a-line dress so i'll just add only three three inches extra then i'll go ahead and connect the lines now i'll be taking the dart the dart is 4.5 inches so i'm going to take the 4.5 inches here then I'll come down by 5 inches for our dart. Then I'll take a straight line. And I'll take half inch on both sides. And I'll connect it like so. So this is our dart. Now I'll be cutting the back. I'll place the front on the back to cut it out. So I've gone ahead to place the front pattern on another piece of paper. And I secured it with a pin so i ruled out the hip line and the full length line then on the waistline here i'm going to come in by half an inch here like so then on the hip line i'll go out by 1.5 inches this gives the butt area a good shape then from this half inch i came in with i'll connect it to the 1.5 inches out like this then i'll connect it straight inside the the line like so so i'll cut it from this point from this half inch i came in then i'll cut it out like so so this is the back then i'll open up the overlap for the front that is the five inches we folded earlier as you can see it's aligning with the top part so the next thing i'll do on the waist i'm going to come down by five inches you can come down by five or six inches but i'll be using five inches here then i'll slant it from this line i'll slant it to this to the end of the five inches here so i'll cut it out so it's going to be like this i'll draft it exactly like this on the fabric so we are going to cut out two of these and two of these on the fabric. Now I'll be cutting out the sleeve. So I already have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'll be dropping the link on the description box. Now the full length I have here is 19 inches. And the peplum I'm going to cut out. I have another piece of paper. I'll be using to cut out the peplum. That is the round sleeve here. And the round sleeve is 8 inches. So I'm going to fold this into two. And I'll refold it again. That is, I'm folding it into four. Then I'll fold it on bias again, like so. 
so the reason why i'm folding it like this is to give the peplum a fuller effect so i have about eight folds here and i'll be dividing the circumference by eight inches that is the wrist the wrist my wrist round is eight inches so i'll divide eight inches by eight so it depends on what your what your circumference is so you just divide it by eight inches so when i divide eight inches by eight i have one inch so i'm going to place the one inch here like so i'll connect it i'll connect the one inch then from this one inch i'll take the full length the full length is five inches so i'm adding one inch for seam allowance that's six inches i'm going to place it like this i'll place it all around i'll connect it and cut it out so i also cut out this part so let me open it and show you as you can see we have the exact measurement of the wrist so look at it on my wrist it's perfect so now i will be placing it on the sleeve i left one and a half inches for seam allowance for the sleeve so when i place it it will, will have something like this on the sleeve so now I'll draft it on the fabric and i'll show you so i've placed the pattern on the fabric i'll go ahead and cut it and show you so this is the front pattern i cut out two piece this is the skirt i also cut out two that's the back skirt and also this is the front skirt i cut out two piece so now the top the wrap top is going to overlap each other like this i'm going to cut out a facing on it or place a facing i'll use this side to cut it out and i'll show you so i use the sides to cut out the facing the facing is about five inches that's the width of the facing so i'll place it this way and i'm adding heste to it that is interfacing to it so that it will give it weight i'll place it like this and i'll sew it by quarter inch after sewing it i'll turn it to the other side and i'll iron it so i'll do the same thing for i'm going to um sorry i'm going to place facing on the back panel so this is the facing so it's going to be like this i'm going to add interfacing to it also and i'll show you later so on the skirt this two skirt is going to overlap each other like this so remember the front skirt is like this this is the pattern remember i've added all our necessary allowance on the dress so i'm not adding any allowance so i'm going to place it like so so it's overlapping each other then i'm going to hem this part with bias tape I'm going to fold it with bias tape so that it will look very neat. I'll do the same thing for this other side. I'll also sew this with bias tape and I'll place them together after sewing it like so on the dart area. So I'll show you later. So on the top, I've gone ahead to add interfacing. Then I also added hemming gum to, to iron it so that it will become one piece. So this is what I have. I also joined the dart, the side dart, sorry, the waist dart. This is the other side of the waist. Then I'm going to place it like so. So this edge, the edge here will be on the dart. So this other edge is also on the dart here. So I'll, I'll pin it up like this. So I'll be sewing it by quarter inch. So on the skirt, I'll do the same thing the way I the same way i overlap the the top that's the same way i overlap the skirt so that it will tally with the top but before then i'm going to pin where the dart will be i'll be sewing it later by half an inch for illustration purpose that's why i'm showing i'm pinning it up so i'm going to place this part on the dart here so it will be like this then i'm going to pin it up so I'll be sewing it by quarter inch. As you can see, it's going to be open like this. So I'll sew it by quarter inch. After sewing it, I'll sew this part also. Then I'll place them together, good side facing good side, making sure this side that is overlap tallies with the skirt on the dart. Then I'll I'll align it here. Then I'll pin it up. So I'll be sewing it by by half an inch uh, as you can see the two darts are aligning then on the back i'm going to sew the dart and also sew this part together that is by half an inch then i'll show you when i'm done 
so this is the overlap so this is the side i joined i made sure it's on the dots and is aligning then on the back i've also joined the two sides that is the top to the skirt and i went ahead to join the center back by one inch i joined it by one inch and i stopped where i want the zip to stop where i want the zip to be so i when i measure it i have about 23 inches sorry 22 inches so that's where the zip will, will be so i'm going to mark one inch for the zip so i'll mark it like so so after marking it the good side of the zip will be on the one inch that is the good side of the dress so i'll place it like so so i'll be sewing on this edge here let me pin it up so after pinning it i'll sew it after sewing it i'll be left with this other side then i'll flip it over to the other side like so then i'll make sure the good side is also on the one inch of the other side i'll place it here then i'll pin it up but on the back half length that is the waist here i'll make sure it's aligning the, the boots are aligning so i'll place them together like this the two lines as you can see so i'll pin it up it's very important for it to align so i'm going to pin it up to the end and i'll sew it when i turn it over as you can see the back half length is aligning now i'll go ahead and sew it and show you so this is our zip so this is the back half length now i'll be using the facing to close the zip i left about one inch open so i'll close it with the zip like this it will be on top of the zip here so i'll sew it by quarter inch let me just pin it up after i sew this part i'm going to sew the side also like so so that is close to where the stitch is i'll sew it here then when i sew it i'll pull it out and cut out the excess zip and i'll have this i'll do the same thing for the other part and i'll show you so guys i've joined the facing to the zip as you can see this is our back neckline so i'll be joining the front and the back together on the shoulder i'll sew it by half an inch here so after sewing it i'll join the two sides together so i'll measure it from the bust circumference so the bust circumference is 38 38 divided by 2 will give us 19 so when i mark 19 out here i'll be i'll be left with excess of about three inches so i'm going to divide the three inches into two and i'll place 1.5 inches here and also on the other side then on the waist the waist is 31 so when i divide it into two i have 15.5 so i have excess of about four inches so i'll divide it into two i'll place two inches here and two inches here so i'll connect the waist to meet the bust then on the hip the hip is 41 41 divided by 2 gives us 20.5 so when i mark 20.5 i have excess of three inches so i'm marking 1.5 here and 1.5 here so what i have i'll connect it to the waist then i'll take the one inch 1 1.5 inches to the full length i'll do the same thing on the other side and i'll show you when i'm done so guys i've joined the sides and I'm, i've joined the shoulder so this is the dress now on the full length remember i told you it's going to have an attachment i deducted 13 inches from it so i'll measure the round of the hemline i have about 62 inches so i'm going to cut out the strip by three i'm going to time 62 by three to cut out the strip so i have about 160 for the length of the strip my fabric wasn't enough so i had to use what i have i have about 150 inches then on the width i have about the width i needed was 13 inches so i have 14 inches here i added one inch for seam allowance i also went ahead to weave the sides so i weaved this part and i also weave the other side here so i have gone ahead to gather it up so as you can see on the screen this was how i gathered it i used my gathering foot to gather the the ruffles you can also use a hand needle to to get your ruffles that is to gather the strip so this is the part i weaved then on the full length that is on the dress i've also weaved the hemline 
i weaved it then i'm going to place this ruffles on top of the hemline like so so i'll sew it all the way to the end and i'll show you when i'm done so guys i've gone ahead to attach the ruffles to the dress so this is the outcome of the ruffles as you can see it came out really nice so now i'll be fixing the sleeve so this is the sleeve i'm going to fold it like so and i'll sew it by 1.5 inches here then i'm going to sew the flare that is the peplum i'm going to fold it by one inch then i'll tuck it in good side facing each other then i'll sew it round by half an inch so we are done i've fixed my sleeve and i've also fixed the peplum to the sleeve so i stitched it by half an inch inside and i've also stitched the two sleeves all round so the next thing i'll do is it's going to have a belt so the next thing i'll do is to cut out the belt so i'm cutting the belt by times two of the waist so the waist is 31 i times it into two that will give me 62. so the width is five inches so when i fold it into two i'll be having 2.5 inches so i'm using half an inch to join it then i'll fold the two edges together here then I'll shape it from this point. I'll slant it here like so. Then I'll cut it out. So now the next thing I'll do is to sew it by half an inch. I'm sewing it on the wrong side. So I'll sew it and show you. So guys, I'm done with the belt. So I turned it to the good side. I left this part opened and I turned it out. Then I top stitch on it here. So we're actually done with these tutorials. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thanks for watching.